Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's your girl, Mary Jane. Please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. So what's good? What's going on? We're going to talk about Young Dolph. Man, this guy has nine lives and he has angels. He has somebody protecting him. He has something out there to protect him that's on his side because he has been um, shot up. And one of his, you know, vans, are like a hundred bullets. And then on top of that, I think, then on top of that, he got shot um, yesterday or the, yesterday or the day before. And he got hit with bullets. He got hit with a couple of bullets, but he's pulling through. He's in stable condition. So it's like he has an angel on his side. He has some goodwill, some protection on his side. Man, it's just like, yo, he got to get it right. He has to please like calm this beef down talk to whoever he got beef with like yo he could lose his life and not be here anymore and forget about reputation forget about all that other stuff if he can squash this beef if there's any way that he can squash this beef because this is sad you see this happen over and over in so many different communities where people get shot at, they get shot once, they survive, they get shot twice, they survive third time, sometimes they survive, then the fourth time they get killed and things like that. So hopefully, you know, there's some way that um, this beef can be squashed because people are going to lose their life, lose what they have behind this. And this is just sad that this is going on in this day and age. But it goes on everywhere. I just wish there could be peace among all these gang members. I wish these gang members can squash all their beef and let go all the hate, the animosity, and forgive what the people, their enemies did to them and then focus on the real enemy, focus on the real problem, you know, because there, there needs to be soldiers out here to protect people, to protect the people that can't fight back. And that's where the gangs come in at if they wasn't so corrupt with all the other stuff, you know, if they didn't have the Willie Lynch syndrome, if they didn't have just like, you know, that mentality to just focus on what's in their neighborhood, but if they can focus on outside of their neighborhood and focus on what they what they want their next generation, the generation after that, and the generation after that to want. So anyways, let's get to the story because I will rant. Um, so this happened in, you know, Los Angeles. Los Angeles Times reporting two of the men ran out while the third jumped into a gold Cadillac escalator and drove to a gas station next door. He then hopped out and ran, leaving the SUV SUV behind. The rapper remained in critical condition, critical but stable condition on Wednesday morning, and McClendon was arrested early Wednesday morning and is being held on a $1 million bail, um, according to Joe Rackett. So McClendon is being charged with the shooting, being tra being charged with the shooting or have something to do with it or involved with Young Dolph's shooting. And um, it's not clear what the dispute was over, but se but several, several media reports have suggested has suggested that shooting was connected to Dolph's ongoing uh, fr fruit, <laughs> feud with fellow Memphis rapper Young Gotti, which TMZ has reported. So it's like, damn, like, I read, like, some of the beef started when, um, what is his name? Um, Young Gotti wanted to sign Young Dolph, and he de he declined to sign. And so that people were saying that's where the beef originally from originated from but then it got bigger so it's just like yo if i don't want to sign to you i can't make that choice <laughs> i can't like i cannot say i can't i can't say no and move forward but i guess you know it escalated people were saying that because young Dolph didn't want to sign to um young Gotti, that's why young gotti has been after him trying to get people after him and got um young black gangster after him some some craziness that doesn't make any sense that sounds really fugazi it sounds horrible it sounds like some more some more ish stuff because why would someone take it personally and want to kill you if you don't want to sign to their label maybe you know young Gotti felt like okay he didn't want to sign to my label okay cool but then maybe after that so many things happened between them two where the beef exploded that's my opinion or whatever but it's just sad so like why the hell is young Dolph and young Gotti staying at the same hotel 
Why? Why are they both staying at the same hotel? This is why <laughs> uh, they need to do research about where people are staying at. And if, if your enemies are here, if your enemies are there, like, yo, why are these two men that clearly have beef um, staying in the same hotel? And then the other thing is, why do these two men that are clearly successful in the hip-hop industry, you know, going to throw it all away over some beef that, you know what, could actually really be, can be squashed and they can do better, they can do more, you know, and really change some things and not and not escalate what they learned in the street and bring it into their to their business, you know, bring it to where they make money at. It doesn't make any sense, but you know, when people got beef, they got beef no matter what. And a lot of people think that, you know, young Dolph, um, his shooting is kind of like connected to, you know, Anthony Saw's um shooting and um aka fifth like they're thinking like there is some type of assassination going on some type of ritual going on and people believe that uh, it's just it's just it's just sad it's just sad because you don't want this you don't want to see this you want to you want to look at these young men and say hey listen they made it out the hood but don't take the hood to where they're trying to make a, a multi-million dollar business and bring people out the hood that they love and that they care for because ultimately people are going to get hurt on both sides if one get killed people are going to be mourning if the other one gets arrested um people are going to be mourning that they're in jail or they're in prison or they're serving a life sentence you know and then people are going to be mourning the you know their kids their families and also when you pull a trigger and you kill somebody are you able to sleep are you able to rest like how's your conscience how do you feel so if you are a killer out there tell me do you sleep at night when you take somebody's life if it's cool i know the cops do it all the time so maybe you can so but like i said before i think there needs to be a, a, a coming together not coming apart come together while you're making this money because money's not going to always be around popularity is not going to always be around and so you could really make a difference and, and save the next generation and this generation and that generation you know to leave a legacy behind don't leave a legacy behind behind like oh I shot, I shot, you know, Dolph up. I shot his van up. Oh, I'm looking for him. Oh, I'm serving 30 years. Nah, let's get out of that mentality. Let's get out of that mentality. There's so much more that people can do, especially when they have the financial gain behind them, the financial support behind them, where they can actually make some moves. They can actually make people in their community become entre entrepreneurs and change things. So finish on finishing the story um it says that young Gotti had been named as a person of interest in the shooting but um people don't know if that's really true they don't think it's accurate at this time and point young Gotti entourage was trying to stay at the Lowe's um hollywood hotel according to you know the reporter but it's unclear whether any of the men were involved in the fight and shooting had any connection to the rapper mcclinley McClendon is um, from Memphis, um, according to police record, and has been arrested several times in Tennessee. Has a conviction of uh, a conviction of um, possessing of cocaine in 1995 and serving um, small jail time, and then getting out on probation. According to records, you know, um, his prior conviction was just th theft and possession and license driving on a suspended license. So he doesn't have like a record of committing armed robbery or killing somebody or um, carrying weapon or assault charges or assault and battery charges so who knows if he's actually really a part of this um trying to take young Dolph's life or was he paid to do this because he's hanging around if he was connected to young Gotti, i don't know if he's connected to young Gotti. he might not be but some people like to move up because it sounds like almost some like mafia crap oh since you don't sign with me i'm gonna go after you but i i i gather that in the midst of Dolph, you know declining to sign with young Gotti, there has been like hiccups and pitfalls and things along the way that hasn't been forgiven and where they actually became enemies because there are pictures of young Dolph and young Gotti together as well so it's like it doesn't doesn't need to be like Tennessee okay the Tennessee I remember that song uh everyday people we're everyday people whatever but anyways um 
people have to understand that can be if you are talented and you're unique and um you paved the way for yourself and you're making money in the business doesn't mean the next person can't do the same thing it can be it can be multiple people doing business and people gravitate to whoever they gravitate there's money out there for everybody especially if you're creating a a, a revenue or a resource where people could come and support you so why hate on the next person i don't know who's hating on who it just sounds it just sounds really full gaze of people that can actually do something actually change their community and they can start with then you know what i mean i know these some of these rappers talking about they don't want to be role models or whatever but you can't be out here in hotels shooting up people like this that that's crazy and then to be associated when people say oh you're suspecting that or putting your name in a situation because you have beef with this person or or one of your minions um what's his name black young gangster is trying to go after young dope Dolph or whatever. It's just like, yo, it doesn't make any sense. Like, come on, you got to be better than this. Use your brain. Use your mind. Like Tupac said, it ain't them that's killing us. It's us that's killing us. Come on, let's stop this bull crap. So, for the run, me ranting. Um, okay, that's it with that, with that story. And then, you know, they was talking about young black um, gangster turned himself and to Charlotte authorities after being linked to the shooting of fellow rapper Young Dolph, bulletproof black SUV on Friday, um, today May seventeenth. But um, so why did Young Young Black Gangster turn himself in? It's, okay, I guess they say he was linked to it. This is um when Young Dolph um vehicle was shot up almost a hundred times with bullets. He had a bulletproof van or whatever so why did this young dude turn this off and i'm just gonna say young black gangsta is just too much like he think it seems like he's seeking out so much attention like he's just too much like i can't i can't even listen to his music because the way he be out here on these um internet streets and doing these interviews just the how cockiness he is how cocky he is and how it seems like some of his stories real some of his stories false so i can't even get behind him and think like you know I'm just like, yo, you need to calm down. You know, you're young. Everybody don't have this opportunity that you guys have created. You created this opportunity, but a lot of people tries to have tried to create the same opportunity that young um, black gangster, um, young Gotti, and um, young Dolph has um, created an opportunity and made something out of that opportunity. And there's so many people trying to create the same opportunity, but they're not getting anywhere. And you're getting somewhere, and it's like you're just throwing it away for nonsense. You're throwing it away on things that you're running from. Like, you guys don't want to be in the hood no more. You don't want to be in the ghetto. You don't want to be broke. You don't You don't want cops chasing you down because you're selling dime and 20 bags or, or you're selling the key and you might get life behind that key. You're trying to live differently, but yet you're bringing these street mentality and, and the behavior into your music where you're giving off this message that it's okay to kill each other it's not okay to kill each other now nah, we have too many people out here trying to kill us as it is so why should we kill ourselves use your brain use your brain so yeah that's my rant on that situation but young Dolph, he is doing well and um they so far they said that he has he has been he's been touched by bullets two bullets so far and um he's he's in stable condition and they they do have a person of interest and it says Gotti and Dolph were staying in the same Lowe's hotel in Hollywood on Tuesday September 26 which their crew got into a altercation over a report disagree over a reported disagreement shots were fired soon after TMC claimed witnesses told officers at the scene Gotti was involved the shooting occurred in the valet parking area of the Lowe's hotel according to a police captain who spoke to the KTLA they had an argument which escalated to a physical fight LAPD officer Megan says at one point young Dolph was knocked to the ground and then one one of the suspects pulled out a handgun and began um, shooting at him. LAPD are looking for two people possibly involved in the shooting. They they have detained one person, but they aren't sure if it's the shooter. So they don't know if it's the shooter or not, but they're going to put him on a million dollar bail. Come on, that makes no sense. We have one individual detained. We are not sure if that one, if that was the person who shot Yandolf. Um... 
said Tanner, adding that the person who was detained may have been involved in the fight outside the hotel. Police described the shooter as a black man as a black man last seen in a gold Cadillac Escalator. After searching for the vehicle, authorities found the car abandoned near Highland and Franklin Avenue. So, and it says the two Memphis rappers have been in, had been entangled in a highly publicized beef for a while now. The story goes that Gotti wanted to sign Dolph to some, some time back when he um, when the paper root empire MC started getting hot in the city, but Dolph turned him down, and ever since, um, the two have thrown shots at each other. In February, young Dolph SUV was shot up over a hundred times. He escaped unscathed, but soon after, Gotti Ortiz, black youngster, black black young youngster, turned himself into authorities in connection to the shooting. Dolph is currently in critical condition, but um, this is when this story was printed, but I found out later that he's in stable condition. He's not in ser serious condition anymore. So, you know, may peace be with all these people. May peace be with all these people that live this type of lifestyle. May they wake up one day. Maybe May, may they wake up before it's too late, before they're six feet under, because... You got to have, um, especially young Dolph, he has to have more of a purpose than what his life is now because for him to, su to survive two shootings, and he's probably survived a whole lot of things, that meant, it's meant for him to be here. It's meant for him to have a purpose. It's meant for him to do something. So let's hope and see that he, let's hope and, and see if he's able to accomplish what his future as as is um laid out for him to be because he's important. Is there something important about him? Because he would be six feet under and he's not. He's been protected. He has guarding and angels, guarding angels around him. So anyways, peace, I'm out. One love, my peoples.